Indirect fire capability, when we refer to that, we're referring to a range of weapon platforms that do not always have a line of sight to their target. Indirect fire shoots over a building, over the horizon, out beyond what you can directly see. In the real world, they're gonna have a lot of other threats that presently are not being replicated on the training battlefield. Something like a mortar, a javelin, a tow, the new X-25 weapon system, a grenade launcher. Anything ranging from 60 millimeter to 155 millimeter projectiles. We're going to leverage commercial products to allow us to bring indirect fire into the training scenario. Things that traditionally have not been able to be utilized in training environments. They've been working on this technology for over 10 years and it just hasn't gotten there yet. Our tool, our weapons orientation module, has very high fidelity measurement of azimuth and elevation for the weapon. So we're able to do much higher fidelity calculations of who would be the actual target that was affected. Now our troops will be able to train with those weapons the way that they would fight with those weapons normally, to engage the opposition force and have the opposition force engage them with similar type of weapons. Currently, the gunnery teams are not being trained in a live training environment. By including them in the environment, they can be trained from the point of origin to the point of impact, so the point that they pull the trigger to the point that they see an effect downrange. The future of IDF will include the full range of weapon platforms, introducing it into not only the national training centers, but home stations as well. It's very important to try to bring in higher fidelity simulation onto the battlefield so that our warfighters are better prepared to fight and return.